Light one. Light two. Light three. Camera. Action! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, real quick shotgun question. Are you competitive? When you play a game, are you competitive? When you're at work, are you competitive? When you're at school, are you competitive? When you're in a sport, are you competitive? Are you a competitive person? Tell me. Answer in the comments. Genuine action step. Answer in the comments. Are you competitive or not? And then based on the answer, after watching this video, I want you to actually think about whether or not you are actually competitive or not. Or if you're not a competitive person, just go ahead and watch anyways. Maybe you'll find some insight in this video because I think that this video is gonna be a very, very spicy take. Now, when I think of somebody that's competitive, I think of somebody that stays in the game. They don't complain about the rules. They don't try and gain things illegally. Win or lose, they're always in the game regardless and Competitive people are people that genuinely stay competitive all the times that they're awake. 16, 17 hours out of the day, they are constantly on it. They are constantly on the game. They are constantly going for it. They are constantly winning, constantly losing, and constantly getting better. That is a competitive person to me. Competitive people don't complain about the rules that are in place, whether it's the rules of the game, the rules of the school, the rules of the sport, or the rules of society. They don't complain about the rules. They just work and they win. And if they lose, they know better for next time so they can be in it to win it. Knowing this personalized definition of how I define competitiveness then, are you competitive? Do you easily quit after things get difficult? Do you stop trying to get a promotion just because somebody else got the promotion that you wanted? Do you stop playing the sport just because the other team won first base? When it gets difficult, do you quit? Because that's not a competitive person then, that's a complacent person. And honestly, a complacent person is a losing person. And a loser's place of mind is in comfort. Comfort of knowing that they are secure where they are. Comfort of knowing that they are happy where they are. Comfort in knowing that where they are right now is where they're okay at being at, and they don't want to improve anymore. And that's okay if that's you. I'm not saying that everybody has to be uber competitive mega chads. I'm not telling everyone that. But if that is you, then you're not competitive. And that's no offense to you. It's just you're not competitive. You're gonna be losing overall to society. You're gonna be lagging behind people that are competitive. If you're barely paying bills and rent right now, then eventually, 10 years down the line, you're probably, who knows where you're gonna be. You're still gonna be renting and struggling to pay bills. It's not like wages are gonna keep up with rent increases and food increases anytime soon. So if you're comfortable now, then that's fine. But I would say that you probably need to do something about that. If you want more information, watch my video up here or in the description below about how you can make more money on the side with your main job. Link in the description. So if you do quit on these things, once they do start getting difficult, that is a loser's mentality. A loser's mentality is in comfort. No, I win by not playing. I can't lose if I don't play, you know? I don't lose as long as I quit. That's a losing mentality, I don't care, you're lost. You quit, you're done. And if that's you, that's okay. No shade on you, no tea, no shade but you're gonna be consistently losing all throughout your life. And I don't think that that's a very good life to live. I mean, think about five to 10 years in the future. Are you really gonna be still be happy where you are right now? Five years ago, where did you think you would be now? Where do you think you're gonna be in five years? If five years ago, you were still in the same spot you are now, then in five more years, more than likely, you're probably still gonna be in the same spot. That's just how it is most of the time. Now, granted, some people do get off their butt and actually do, do something about it, but most people don't because they're comfortable and they're okay with that. I'm not okay with being that comfortable. I always wanna be better. Conversely, a winning mentality is a mentality like mine. A winning mentality means that you know your entire day. You have a schedule planned around your entire day. You know precisely what you're gonna do, when you're gonna do it, how you're gonna execute it, and when a roadblock does come your way and something doesn't go your right, you have plans B, C, and D 
and backup just in case something doesn't go right. You always have backup plans for your main plans and you never skip a beat. You also live vicariously through your work, whether it's work at a nine to five or work in YouTube or work in the social media, any kind of work, whether it produces income or not, if it's your hobby, if you go, like for me, if I go out fishing or something, when I'm casting my pole and I'm just relaxing and I get like maybe five or six fish to bring home to eat for the night, that's living vicariously. I win by being able to bring home fresh fish out of my out of my area. And that's great with me. Same with this YouTube channel. I win by continuing to provide you, the viewer, with value. And all I want to do is provide you with value. So if you want to see more value from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like the video. That would be mighty appreciated. So now knowing the difference between a losing mentality and a winning mentality, are you still competitive? Now, please keep in mind that this is like my personal definition of being competitive. It's also genuinely life's definition of being competitive. Winners win, losers lose. If the lion catches the antelope, the antelope gets eaten. The lion won. If the lion misses the antelope and the antelope gets away, the lion get, loses. But then he finds another antelope and he catches that one, so then he wins. Are you a lion that's constantly out there hunting for each gazelle? Win or lose, no matter what happens, you still go out there and try to win anyways? Or are you gonna be one of those little beta lions that's in a zoo that just lays around waiting for handouts? I really hope that's not you. Here's another thing also. Competition is varied. Your level of competition is varied based on your level in society and where you are in life. For example, you might think that you're competitive right now. You might have answered all these questions. Like the last three times I've asked you, you've said yes, yes, yes. But here's the thing. Just because you think you're competitive doesn't mean that you're actually competitive according to the rest of the world and the actual market that is the world. Because a loser can still think that he's competitive just because he's not homeless. Just because he's not unemployed. Think about that for a second. You're not homeless, you're not unemployed, you have a GED, you have a high school graduate degree, you're working, okay? Are you providing any value to other people, other businesses? Or are you only providing value to your boss and his business? If you're not providing value to other people in your network, if you're not providing any sort of value to your friends or your family or anything, you're not competitive. You're just providing value to your boss. To me, you're not competitive. Getting by and just simply being employed and not homeless, that's not competitive. You're just getting by. And the reason I say that is because a competitive person knows that his competition does not stop. These people that I'm thinking of, the people that I, the person that I am, the people that I hang around with, we are all genuinely working non-stop throughout the day. 17 hour work days. Oh yeah, 17 hour work days. I know that sounds extreme, but in my last video again, in the description, in my last video, I go over how on Fridays, I used to work from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Fridays, 17 hour workdays on Fridays, because I used to have two jobs. Working these two jobs has allowed me to get to where I am right now. I have a house. I have two cars. I have my wife. I have everything that I need. I could stop now. But I have a lot of things that I want to get by in this world. I want to be able to help other people get to where I am and further beyond. I want people to get more fit. I want people to get more masculine. I want people to be able to get more money, more status, more network. I want people to be able to get everything that they want as long as they are truly willing to put in the work like I did and my friends do and hopefully what you're willing to put in as well. But not only are you putting in 17 hour work days, but you're also putting in 17 hour work days. I know I said the same thing, but let me def define that. You're working sometimes two jobs. Some of those days are gonna be 17 hour work days. 
But what about the days that you're only working one job? What about the days that you have off all day? That is still a work day. That is still a day that you can write down like a script or something. That is still a day you can do some journaling. That is still a day that you can be typing on a laptop for your script. That is still a day that you can be watching guides on how to better edit videos or build up better habits or catch up on some reading or something. You can still be putting in the work even when you are not working to better educate, inform, and prepare yourself for the future that you want. So now I ask you one last time before this video ends, are you competitive? Or are you just being complacent with where you are? Keep in mind that everyone has a different definition on their version of winning compared to losing. We all have different ideas of what it means to win and what it means to lose. But finding your personal definition of where you are when it comes to winning compared to the rest of society is something that I think is so unbelievably important for most young men these days. Finding your competition and being able to beat out that competition and actually win against that competition. That is a competitive person and that is the person that I want you to be. As a young man in today's society, it should be your top priority to find your competitive bracket, be on top of that bracket, and then find the next competitive bracket and be on top of that one as well. Find other friends that are also on this similar journey to you. I promise that you're going to get so much further than I ever would have. Because I'm 29 years old. Okay, I've got pretty much everything in life that a man could need at 29. And I'm, I, th I think that's pretty good. But if you're under the age of 21 and you're watching this, Think about where you'll be when you're my age, if you actually get started and be competitive in your bracket right now. That doesn't, if that doesn't really inspire you, I really don't know what does. But keep your mind, body, and soul healthy every, each and every single day, and I hope to see you in the next video. You have a good one. Take care of yourself.